Hello and welcome to the Unusual Report. We are your hosts. My name is Clarence. And I'm Jamal. And today's episode, T-Pain gets a tattoo, Verizon backs off, and we discuss the PSP2. Um, I want to start this episode off um, actually giving some props to Jamal, um, because Jamal, you did call it last week. You said uh, Verizon is going to probably offer a tier plan when the iPhone gets there. Uh, this week, they announced that they are actually only offering the unlimited $30 plan for a limited time. So, Jamal, now is your chance to glow. What do you got? Uh, all I can say is I told you guys. So, who's that dude? Uh, Verizon? Verizon <laughs> Man 001? Verizon Man 001? Yeah. You knew. We all knew it was coming. It's because, you know why they did that tier plan? Because they cannot handle the network traffic that's going to be coming as soon as the Verizon phone comes. And Words they know from, it. <laughs> Words from the guru himself. <laughs> but let's get into it here. Boldly going where no portable game system has gone before, maybe, mm. the PSP, the next generation. That's right, Sony unveiled the PSP2 this week. It's been affectionately named the NGP, and no, that is not Neo Geo Pocket, folks. It actually stands for Next Generation Portable. Taking a look at the specs, it is reported that it is going to be priced right around $299. Uh, it's going to be, there's gonna, actually going to be two versions of this. There's going to be a 3G and non-3G. Let's hope the non-3G is a little bit cheaper. Um, it's going to come Probably with like a... 50 bucks cheaper, maybe. Maybe. Doubtful, though. It's a <laughs> Sony product. Uh, ARM Cortex A9 core processor, so it actually has four cores, so it should be able to handle graphics pretty well. Uh, Five-inch OLED touchscreen, um, so you've seen that in a lot of these uh, cell phones that have come out. Front and rear facing cameras, dual analog sticks that are actually sticks this time, they're not those little nubs. Trying to emulate the PlayStation uh, 3 controller, I would imagine. I would imagine. Um, and it's got a six axis motion sensing system. Um, so you can actually kind of use it as a steering wheel for those racing games. Uh, built in GPS, built in Wi Fi, Bluetooth 2.1. It's actually going to come with a new interface they call Live Area. It's actually going to allow uh, players to move in and out of games almost instantly. And one of the big things here is uh, access to the PlayStation Suite. Now this is going to be sort of an online market similar to the Wii's Virtual Console. The players can actually go on and they're going to be able to download a number of PS1 titles uh, directly to their NGP. The biggest thing about this is that it's cross-platform, so people who have Android 2.3 are going to have access to these games as well. well Jamal, which I think that was smart. Um, I remember reading about how they were th thinking about it, and now that they're actually bringing it out into the Android market, I think that's very smart on PlayStation's part. Um, I just <clears throat> I cringe when I hear 2.99. Yeah, that's a big thing. It, it, it is a lot for a handheld device. Um, I guess a gaming device. I guess the question is, do you need to be gaming all the time? Will it be also uh, a pretty good PMP, a personal music player, or a media player, I should say? You know, how much space will it have? They t talk about the specs on the space. Uh, there wasn't too much about the specs on the space. Um, so I mean, how much space will you be? Able, how many games would you be able to carry on your on this particular device? Well, judging by what you know, what are your thoughts overall on the NGP? Overall, I think it's neat. I think the screen is uh, sweet. I, I like the fact that you can slide it open and that you have the controllers. I like the fact that they give you the dual. Uh, analog sticks kind of gives you that PS3 f controller feel. Um, I'm not too keen on the price and uh, I'm not really digging the 3G only because what is the 3G going to be used for? I know it sounds like a dumb question but are you going to make it, are you going to be using it as a phone? Um, it's probably going to be for online access everywhere, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, folks. Remember that 3G is probably going to come with a monthly price tag. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to make a major investment up front, plus you're going to have to probably pay monthly for additional service. 
my thoughts on it, I mean, Sony has come out specifically and said this is not the PlayStation phone. But I'm going to tell you right now, someone's going to find a workaround and going to turn this thing into a phone. It's got a mic, it's got speakers. Yeah. It, it's going to happen. Um, another thing is, hardware-wise, this thing is a monster. We know mm -hmm. that. And it, it's sexy. It's got that sleek look, much like the... Uh, much like the PSP one. Yep. It's actually got those little grips on the back for your hands. Yep. Um, the reports are that it can actually handle PS3 level graphics, but ultimately, if this thing is going to fail, and I think it will, I don't think this is going to level the playing field as far as them catching up with Nintendo and the DS. Um, and if it is going to fail, it's, it's because of the price. Uh, I mean, do you know that right now, for two ninety nine, you can go to GameStop, you can get 160 gig PS3 mm -hmm. and actually give you a $50 gift card. So you actually get more yeah. for your money. Um, I think the reason why it's going to fail is not... Be the price might have a thing, but I think it's going to fail because it's. I, I really think it's too ahead of its time. I know it sounds crazy, but I think the technology is ahead of what people really want. Um, you may have like the what we spoke about earlier... The early adopter, the gadget guy, yep. who go out, who will drop three hundred bones on this thing, and brag to his buddies about how great it is, um, and you may get the occasional hacker um, who may find a need for it if they turn it into a phone. That'd be a pretty sexy uh, phone to carry around, um, but I just don't see like a um, twelve-year-old kid who really a lot of these markets are uh, geared for is really going to want this. Um, well, they're going to want it. I think, if, again, I think if the price is going to sink it, as well as the release well, yeah. date. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me, let me re 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 retract that. They're going to want it, but the parents are not going to want to buy it. That's true. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Um, you just spent two, $300 on the Xbox system or the PS3 system. Now... You turn around and the kid wants another three hundred dollar portable system. Um, Good luck with that, kids. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Maybe if they ask for an advance on their allowance or something. Maybe, or, maybe. <laughs> but I still think the price and the release date is going to be what kills this thing. The, you know, you know, we know the three DS is coming out in just over a month. Mm -hmm. The PSP two or the NGP isn't due to come out until this holiday season. So we're talking November, sometime like that. 3DS is going to be out for a while. It's going to cost less, too. So, which, which leads me to believe if it's only going to come out in the fall of 11, it, me, it leads me to believe that they have not finalized a lot of the uh, stuff in terms of who's going to manufacture it, what, who's going to, what processors are they going to purchase for, these, uh, for this. So it, 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 I believe that in the near future, you'll probably see more news regarding the NG NGP. I'm, I'm sure there will be, and let's hope there is, because yeah. uh, you said earlier that you don't think it was, you thought it was too far ahead of its time. I'm going to yeah. argue and say, I, I think it's not far enough ahead of its time. I think this device needs something to differentiate Different, uh, I can't say differentiated the word. exactly uh, from the 3DS. Um, yeah. And if this is truly a next gen, you know, handheld held portable, shouldn't it be 4G? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're if this right. truly is the next generation, I think we'd want this thing to go 4G, considering the late release date of this thing. Um, but if then you do that, then you you're really taxing, and I and I really believe from a portable perspective, you're going to tax the battery. I mean, yeah, you probably are going to touch I, the battery, but uh, have they talked about the battery life? Wasn't four to five hours, which is you know, yeah, right around where right around most where of our the, portable devices yeah. these days. I mean, mm. all of these uh, hot smartphones. That's about their battery life these days, anyway. So, I mean, uh, not to not to kill it, but I mean, you can get an Android phone with go to the PlayStation and download the PlayStation app and play PlayStation games on your Android phone. And that'll last longer than... Yeah, it'll last longer than the <laughs> PSP. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope Sony does make some changes coming up if they yeah. want this thing. Because I can I can totally see the 3DS just come out and crushing this thing. Yeah. I mean, plus, it's not 3D. I mean, 
Yeah, that, Nintendo's that's, hopping on the the three D fad, which I still think is just a fad, and it's only here. I believe it is, and then I had a thought about that. It would be cool if that three D Nintendo three DS could connect to your TV and then project the three D out onto your three D TV. Then that would be epic. Yeah, that'd be two places you could damage your eyes. That'd be <laughs> awesome. I know. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, that wraps it up as far as our thoughts, as far as the. Uh, the NGP or PSP2, whichever you want to call it. Don't forget, you can always follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. That is the End User Report. This is Clarence. And I'm Jamal.